Can you see what this dog is doing? She's di <clears throat> she's digging at my bed for whatever reason. Hello everybody, welcome back to the No Estus Run of Dark Souls 3. In the last episode we made a substan we made substantial um, progress through the Cathedral of the Deep and I died from a fall. <laughs> from a like a, you know, maybe a 10 foot fall in the game, but I had no life left. So yeah, I was gonna. So now I got to go back up to the roof and I got to Try to make that, um, make that leap again and have more health this time, which is always a good strategy. Have more health. Ah, what the fuck? Oh, I forgot about this dude. Shit. God damn it. It's dumb of me. Very dumb. Mm. Mm. There we go. Okay, <laughs> that was pretty funny. That was very amusing to me. Come on. There we go. He's gone. <laughs> He is gone. If I jump down here, am I still... Oh, yeah. I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to deal with this dude right now. Come on. All right. Round and round we go. Oh, is he already gone? Yep. He's already gone. All right, now... There! I survived that one. Now can I survive this one? Oh my god! Oh, it was so close! <laughs> that was so close! Now... Nope. After I went through all that, you're not getting me like that. Hi, Patches. You dick face. Oh, I believe we've met. Do I have enough to buy it all now? Just barely not enough. I need 700 more. Shut up. And 700 more. Oh, that was more than enough. Probably shouldn't have used that for that, but oh well. Oh, shut up. Alright. Now I got that, I can go give that back to uh, Sigward. And I can put up this bridge. And I can go up these stairs. Oh yeah, I can deal with a million slugs. That's what I can do. Mm -hmm. That was oh, <laughs> well, that was humiliating. Killed by the slugs. Not my preferred way to go. Uh, oh yeah. Actually, while I'm at it, why don't they just do this right now? There's no reason for me to go back up there. So, I think we're gonna fight the deacons of the deep in this episode. Hi, buddy. All right, with that out of the way, let's go deal with the deacon, shall we? 
Drank. Oh, shit. It's not good. I'm in the wrong part of town right now. Oh, fuck you. Ow. Alright, I gotta go. I gotta go, sorry. Deal with the rest of that crap later. Slowly picking up the pieces of the drang armor is <laughs> as I go along. All right. Come on. Let's just do this. Oh crap, I got his attention. I never get this guy's attention. Now suddenly I have it. Ow, that's not good. Not good. Sneak around. Ha 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 ha. Bitch. Now eat that. Going for it. Ooh. See, usually. Usually. I just sneak through here and no one ever notices. Don't ask me how or why, but they don't. All right. I am going to summon Anri and Horus for this fight. Because why not? All right. We ready to go? Look at you, Horus. You look particularly menacing as a phantom. All right. Let's go. Actually, is there anything helpful I can put on? This is almost useless, actually, right now. I don't think any of this is going to be helpful right now. So we're just going to go with it. I said this before in the uh, no level up run, but I always thought this was definitely kind of creepy. Yeah, everyone rises at the same time. Definitely creepy. All right. Uh, uh, uh. All right. Mm. Mm. Like monkey in the middle. How to get the one that's got the ball. Ooh. Where is he? Hello. Mm. Wow, all the way over there. All right. All right, you're the game. I'm not the game, you're the game. Here they come. I'm pulling out the wipers. There we go. It's gonna plow right through them. Fuck you and your curse thing. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, that was painful. That was painful. All right, back off. Ah, oh, shit. Recover. Here we go. That was good stuff right there. Nope. Stop your nonsense right now. Stop with that curse shit. That stuff has killed me in one hit before. It's ridiculous. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. We got him. Ugh. There we go. Progress. Thank you to Enry and Horus. I bow to you. Alrighty then. Got the small doll. Light the bonfire. Hmm. Did I get a lot less souls for that than... I remember getting, I don't know, that's weird. Only 10,000 for them. And again, they're not very hard. I'm not trying to argue that point. I'm just like, could have sworn I got more souls for that, but oh well. 
No worries, doesn't matter. All right, I was kind of wondering if there is anything worth transposing. I mean, the Crystal Sages right here is good for farming. But, uh... I don't think there is. Not right now, anyway. I will get this, though, just because. I am going to use the Deacon Soul, because I'm not going to get anything else out of that. And I'm going to level up. <laughs> I just <laughs> I don't know how that happened the joy gesture dexterity and another point in stamina all right now we are going to put on the poison bite ring and we are going to fair and keep all right, everyone's favorite area as voted in Dark Souls magazine. It was a Twitter poll. I saw it. Just trust me. Trust me on this. I mean, everyone loves Fair and Keep, right? How do you not love Fair and Keep? Just because there's poison everywhere? I mean, so what? I hate fair and keep. <laughs> I hate it. Uh, I don't hate it, but definitely not one of my favorite areas. And here we are. Uh, those guys are fun. Always fun. Oh, fuck you. I blocked that. Fuck you. Alright. Could have just killed him right then and there, but... I'm trying to recover stamina. Alright. Look at that, we've already extinguished one of the fires. Making a lot of progress this episode. Alright. This one guy here gives me quite a bit of trouble. But with a backstab, you can actually be easily dealt with. <laughs> I'm going to take that. I'm going to run over here and get this. Look at that. Heading up to the second fire already. Oh, fuck you. Mm, mm. Oh, boy. You were really intent that time, huh? And it didn't mean a goddamn thing. Mm. <sighs> All right. Second flame extinguished. Let me see if I can get to the next bonfire and then I can call it an episode. <laughs> and the next fire uh, bonfire is right there, so. Ugh! Ugh! Back off, back off. Mmm, mmm. Got one. Come on. We can all be friends here. Screw you. Ooh. Almost fell off. There we go. Anything along the side? Nope. And nope. And we're going to... Oh, get out of the way. 
Alrighty, we are here. And that's where we're going to end the episode. Go to robertblanchardbooks.com if you want to check out my books. You can read the first three chapters of each book there for free. You can check out the Rise of Dragons podcast if you want to hear more about the books. You can listen to them wherever you find your favorite podcast. Uh, go follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Bobby's World 2110 And that's it. I hope everyone has an outstanding week. Um, and I will see you next time. And until then, it's Bobby's World, and you're all just living in it. See you for life, y'all. Bye. What's going on, guys? Thank you for checking out the video today. But I got a question for you. Did you know I wrote a book? Did you know I wrote three books? Did you know that they're all part of the same series? The Roar of a Dragon, The Treachery of a Weasel, and The Cry of a Raven. Readersfavorite.com says that its intensity rivals that of the Game of Thrones series. Now, I personally think that's crazy, but it's not for me to judge. It's for you to judge. Go to robertblanchardbooks.com and you can check out the books right now. But wait, that's not all. All three books got five-star reviews at readersfavorite.com. These books won the Silver Medal and the Literary Titan Awards. The Cry of a Raven won Silver at the Global Ebook Awards. So what are you waiting for? Read about Aiden's dream to become a Knight of Delmar. Read about his death and resurrection. Oops, I gave that away, didn't I? And read about his journey back home from 3,000 years in the future to stop the evil that started in Delmar. Go to robertblanchardbooks.com. You can read the first three chapters of each book there for free. And then, if you're interested, you can buy the books there as well. And if you've already read the books or you just want to hear more about them, you can check out the Rise of Dragons podcast. You can listen to it wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. And in every episode, I cover a character from the book, an event from the book, my journey into writing, and everything in between. Ripley, what do you got to say about all this? Give me a treat or I will end you. You know she's telling you to check out the books. Go to robertblanchardbooks.com to check out the books or listen to the Rise of Dragons podcast if you want to hear about them. That's all I got to say, and thank you for watching this video.